Welcome back to the latest anime news for the week ending March 11th, 2022. And we're actually going to just stick here for the time being because there's no <laughs> notable news this week, as it turns out. It's all just sort of random things that we're going to talk about uh, this week. Um, a few little quick notes. I'm actually going to move, uh, bounce around a little bit um, in the, the news doc that we normally pull up. Um, because this is all just kind of, all kinds of weird, I'll be honest. Um, <laughs> okay. So there's a competitive sport existed in Japan for years as a way of encouraging sustainability and pick, making um, the particular activity more exciting, the competitive sport of picking up trash. Apparently, Will they go to the Nationals? Exactly, exactly. Well, funny you should say that. Um, <laughs> the manga anime game education creation organization held a sc screening this week for a promotional anime called Sport Trash World Cup Exhibition Match. <laughs> As part of the Sea and Japan project, ha ha, change for the blue uh, initiative to reduce marine waste in the anime story, sport trash or spogomi is a popular sport comparable to, to soccer, if only if, if that were so in our real world. Um, it will stream on a number of uh, subscription based and pay per view services in Japan starting in April. And it was hinted that the anime will have sequels with, quote, many different kinds of developments, end quote. Where do you go with sport trash pickup anime? I, I, what? 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 Kotaro, Kotaro, we'll get 50 extra points if we get the squirrel fecal matter. Quick, quick. I mean, first off, do you have rivals? <laughs> of course you have rivals. Of course what you I have saying? rivals, yeah. Um, um, someone has got to break a leg at some point. Yeah. Got to have a sports injury. Um... Um, I guess you could also obviously go the, the popular um, um, shady organization who gets involved um, yeah. and maybe tries to sponsor you or something. Um, gosh, what else can you do? Um, you have the longtime rival who joins your team. Yes. Or vice versa. Someone who goes... And you need the garbage team. girl love interest. Exactly, yes. Um, there is a sort of promotional image out there and it's just very standard, you know, Anime girls, anime boys, you know, sort of smiling at the camera, kind of, kind of stuff. Nothing, nothing notable in that to to make it clear what's going on. But uh... <laughs> Colin, well done. Wow, this anime is trash. Well done. Well done. Yes. <laughs> so that's, that's that's the thing. Um, so I don't know, but I'm I'm watching it. I'm curious to see how it goes. Why I, not? I hope they go suitably over the top with it. I hope they like. This yes, is, yes, they have what, to. What was that anime we saw last time, which was the, um, the like, sci-fi post-apocalyptic baseball anime? Yes. Oh, what was yeah. that? Yeah. <laughs> but, like, so go like, that crazy, please. Yes, yes. <laughs> it's all neon. Why is it all neon? I don't understand. <laughs> oh, dear. Um, <clears throat> moving on to some anime adaptation news. Another Iskai is on its way. Um, a web novel called... One turn, kill sister in another world. I started living in another world with my older sister. Um, that's getting an anime. And from that title, you can pretty much guess what it's all about. High school uh. boy gets lost, finds himself in another world with no extra power or cheat abilities. Fortunately, his older sister's in the old, other world as well. And she has the strongest cheat ability there is. And a brother complex, because of course she does. Uh. <laughs> But you know what? They were adopted, so it's okay. Right. Absolutely. Absolutely. That's always how it works. Um, I watched the first episode of, of a show like that a while ago, and they played it up for laughs so well that it was just funny. It wasn't Isekai, but it was just like, you know, this, right. this girl definitely like really loves her, her brother. Um, and they, you know, it was just such a, a comedy that it, it played. So hopefully they take that turn where it's just, you know, mm. it's just funny. Um... Square Enix has announced a TV anime inspired by a manga called Vermi in Gold, a desperate magician barges into the magical world alongside the strongest calamity. The strongest protagonist, uh, the story's protagonist is a student at a magical academy who, on the verge of failing a class on summoning magic and being held up uh, or held back, he discovers an old summoning grimoire using the book What does he summon? Can you guess? What does he summon? Giving it as the anime. Um... Pansu Demon Girl? There we go. Exactly. Sexy Demon Lady. 
Yeah. Um, and she must borrow his magical power. How? <laughs> kissing. Just by kissing. Kissing. Just, kissing. Just by kissing. Yeah, kissing. So as long as there's no Transformers involved. <laughs> Who knows? Um, uh. So that's coming. Um, uh, the manga Guild of Depravity also announced an anime adaptation this week. Um, a skilled hunter. <laughs> yeah. At least they're honest. Exactly, yes. Uh, a skilled hunter decided to retire out of fear of wasting his youth, but is convinced by a guild staff member to go on a quest with a new female martial artist who also happens to be a cute cat girl. Um, mm. I actually read the first couple of issues of this, and uh, I, I think this might actually be fun. Um, it is fairly etchy. Basically, they, they go out. She's, you know, brainless idiot cat girl type. She goes out and immediately attacked by slimes. Um, attacked by slimes. Nice slimes. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh, and so it's it's that. Um, and then every time they go out, she gets attacked by slimes again, basically. So it's like, <laughs> okay, gotcha. I understand. And then there's a uh, sort of Tundere elf girl who joins the group. Um, and just so, you know, the, the, the harem begins to build at that point. Um, but the the overall tone is is very much light comedy like he's 20 um he's been doing this since he was 18 he's like gods i spent like my entire youth just like training to be a hunter like i you know i i uh um i, I wasted my, my my best years just just you know be, being basically goku and doing all the sit-ups and push-ups right. and so forth and there's a there's a admittedly funny panel where he joins a basically like a like a frat club um uh in high school uh, it was going to the hunters club and it, like smash cuts to like all of the guys with a whole bunch of girls like all naked like drinking, um, and and that's what like <laughs> they they were all doing while he was out like doing all the hunting stuff. He's like, I've wasted my time, you know. And it's just like you know, <laughs> funny, funny. Um, so hopefully, hopefully that will that they will they will take a decent road of that. Um, moving on to more wholesome things, G Kids and Time of Events are bringing seven. Studio Ghibli films back to the U.S. theaters Ooh. for Ghibli Fest 2022. Uh, the films will each screen for two or three days, starting with Princess Mononoke in April, um, continuing monthly with Ponyo, Cat Returns, Kiki's Delivery Service, Only Yesterday, Howl's Moving Castle, and finishing in Halloween weekend with Spirited Away. Um, tickets for all the showings are available on the Ghibli Fest website, and there will be subbed and dubbed versions and bonus content. Ooh. So let me ask you this. Of those, which are you most excited? Which would you be most excited to see in theaters? Uh, Mononoke, Ponyo, Cat Returns, Kiki's, Only Yesterday, Howl's, Spirit Away. For me, it's Spirit Away because it's been forever since I saw that. In, in, in it's been forever since I saw that. Period. Um, I, I've never turned to that movie in a while, and I, that's, that's I've, I've never, <clears throat> I've never seen Ponyo. I don't. Okay, think. there we go. Um. Spirited Away, for some reason, coming into my head, but I also like the idea of Howl's. Mm, mm-hmm, yep. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, Mononoke is probably, you know, like, objectively the right answer. <laughs> right, movies. yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, you will see about Mononoke. Okay. Yeah, I mean, if, yeah, um, there are few movies that are as theater, like, heavy, like, you know, you want to see in a theater yeah. as much as Mononoke. But yeah, I mean, Howl's is such a, such an experience. Like, that would be... A great thing in a theater. I completely agree. You know what I would love to see in the theater? Mm. Satoshi Kon's Opus. I'm almost done. I, boy, I don't even know how you'd make that into a movie. <laughs> That's my point. Yeah. I'm like, I would love to see that, how they would do that. Mm-hmm. I do too. Um, and I will say this, like of all Satoshi Kon's, like that is the most Satoshi Kon, Satoshi Kon thing ever made. Uh, yeah. You know, if you want to, if you want to memorialize the man, like that is the thing to adapt. Yeah, the same. Um, moving on, uh, Toy Animation and Overlook Events has announced the Dragon Ball uh, Symphonic Adventure concert sir, coming to the U.S. Uh, in L.A. <laughs> starting May twenty first. Um, so that's cool. Um, this week brings brings us some more new One Piece merchandise, a One Piece trading card <laughs> game. Uh, Wait, they hadn't had one. I know exactly. <laughs> um, that is shocking, actually. Now that you mention that, like, what? What? <laughs> um, I mean, it's it, it's got to be part of um, was it uh, Vibe Cruz or whatever is that like anime trading card game? 
Oh, yeah. The, yeah, the yeah. one that we saw at uh, Gen Con. Right. Yeah, I'm surprised there's no. Um, launches, it launches in Japan in July, worldwide in English later this year, whatever that means. Uh, it'll have four starter decks, um, uh, including a, a one um, themed on uh, the characters in the anime film, which is kind of interesting. Um, let's see here. Um, uh, Disney Plus uh, announced that Disney Nippon TV will, has formed a partnership for co-production and content sharing. Where Disney Works will show up on Nippon TV and Nippon TV on Disney Plus. Huh. Um, these include live action series, variety shows, and anime. And we'll begin with a live action adaptation of the Kindaichi Case Files, which is interesting. Huh. Um, Nippon TV has aired Lupin the Third, Death Note, Hunter Hunter, and many more. So there's a lot potentially that could show up on Disney Plus. Um, it should also be noted, like if it feels polarized to Disney Plus, they're the ones that freaking license Doraemon. And put it right. on Disney XD. So obviously, like they're, you know, they're willing to license the more interesting stuff and throw it out there. Yeah. So, cool. Um, Kobayashi's Dragon Maid also trading card game as well. Does not surprise me. It should. Uh. Um, the Charming Layback Camp announced a collaboration with Curry Meshi this week, which is a a curry rice like um um pot noodles, um Ooh. but it's it's. Uh, curry rice and so you just you know, pour the water right. in um and the collaboration comes with its own theme song sung by the artist who performed the opening for both seasons of the tv anime it is called huh. easy life easy curry the song of curry meshi <laughs> um complete with a cute little video of way back uh, camp protagonists um in little sort of chibi forms and the curry meshi mascot enjoying some curry while out on a camping trip the problem is these are live action segments of a somebody in like what looks like basically a giant lemon with like arms and legs um that is kind of their mascot um you know like pulling out a tent and like setting up a tent and kind of struggling so <laughs> it's kind of funny just for that um it's, it's, it's interesting um the collab will also include include three mini episodes of a special solo camping Thing by Kuri, uh, with Kuri Meshikun, I can't wait to see, with narration by Rin and Nadeshko. Um, a Twitter campaign will give 30 lucky winners a compact grill bearing a print of the girls in their collab outfits. And finally, those who purchase two Kuri Meshi products from participating stores can receive a placemat featuring the collaboration's special illustration. So, And John's going to win it all. Absolutely, yes. Um, yes. I guess like, the combat grill looks nice. Like it's basically an embossed print on the side of like Rin and Adeshko. Mm. Um, just you know, with you know, holding up curry rice. But it's like it's 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 classy. You know, if if you took it out, people would say, "Why are there two anime girls on your on your grill?" But like, it's not <laughs> you know a sticker <laughs> glued right, on the side. Right. Right. Um, so that's cool. And hopefully, there's more. Um, um, uh, I think this is one of those things where this is not a franchise that's going to get like a new season every you know six months, um, right. and so it just kind of keeps it going, you know, keeps it in, keeps people talking about it, keeps the money flowing in, so we can get season three. Well, and the movie coming out soon. Um, last up, it might seem unlikely, but if any of you are planning, you know, if 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 if, if you got a note to yourself. To purchase any anime-themed NFTs in the future, just make sure they're not Naruto or Boruto franchises. Um, the official... This is the most 2022 news story I can think of. The official Boruto Twitter account posted notices this week in Japanese, Chinese, and English warning of unlicensed NFTs being sold using the Naruto and Boruto franchise names. Fans have... Here's the other interesting thing. Fans have apparently been inquiring about officially licensed nfts for naruto and boruto there is demand right um and the tweet makes it very clear that no no license has been issued to authorize such products please watch out for false information or in other words don't believe everything you read on the internet is especially regarding nfts oh god <laughs> Look, I got a Boruto and Naruto NFT. How much did you pay for it? My, my college savings. Let me do that. Oh. Well, also, like, who's buying NFTs saying, you know, well, I bought the NFT, but I must ensure that it is officially licensed um, by the, the official license holders. Otherwise, I will not dirty my fingers. 
with such things. And, you know, come on. I think if you buy an NFT, you know you can. Look, look. If once we get into Legend of the Over theme NFTs, we're, we know we're in trouble. This is true. Um, Especially if they're unlicensed. Oh, uh, how, how dare they? Dun, dun, dun. How yes. dare they do that? I mean, you know, they're, they're going to be... Well, I'm not going to go there. Um, yeah, we're just going to oh, stop. We're just gonna... um, yeah, but... Uh... Hard stop. <laughs> Speaking of hard. No, moving on. Um... <laughs> So, uh, uh, yeah, that's, that's all the news for this week. Thank you for watching. We will see you all next, in a couple of weeks, for more Weird Anime News. <laughs>